the AMCA, the phase one with the G414 engines should start flying in about 10 years or sh should for the first flight will happen in seven years, but the induction may take 10 years. In recent months, we have examined several new fifth generation fighters and their potential to revolutionize foreign air forces. The first was South Korea's KIKF-21, a twin engine, twin seat multi-role aircraft with goals similar to the F-35. The second was Turkey's TITF Cayenne, a multi-role fighter intended to replace the F-16. Both aircraft have successfully completed their maiden flights. Today, we will explore India's domestic solution, the HL Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. The AMCA project began in 2010 when the Indian Air Force attempted a joint venture with Sukhoi to develop a combat aircraft known as the Sukhoi HAL 5th Generation Fighter Aircraft. Although this collaboration did not fully materialize, a parallel project, the AMCA, was initiated during the conceptual phase. A feasibility study was conducted in October of that year, and by 2013, the project entered the preliminary design phase. The project was led by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, EHAL, and the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA. In November 2013, nine different designs were created using CAD and evaluated over the following year. By the end of 2014, these designs had undergone wind tunnel and radar cross-section testing. The results led to the selection of a final design, and by 2015, the basic configuration was finalized. This design features a twin-engine, diamond trapezoidal-winged aircraft with a V-tail and a bubble canopy seating a single pilot. Like most other fifth-generation designs, the AMCA resembles the F-35, likely due to the need to balance agility with a reduced radar cross-section. This design was presented to the Indian Air Force in 2016. In the same year, the Air Force formally accepted the design concept. One of the main objectives during the conceptualization phase was to develop an aircraft capable of replacing the relatively new Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, the official Indian export variant of Russia's Flanker H. This is an ambitious goal as the latest iterations of the Sukhoi 30 are considered among the best multi-role aircraft produced in the East, aside from possible classified projects. In Western terms, the Su-30 is comparable to a 4. Fifth generation fighter, similar to the modernized Super Hornet or Strike Eagle. Therefore, the AMCA is poised to be India's equivalent of the F-35. The AMCA is designed as a lighter, more modern alternative to traditional multi-role aircraft while still capable of performing similar missions. The proposal for the AMCA aims to fulfill several roles, including air supremacy, suppression of enemy air defenses, air interdiction, and electronic warfare. Over the next few years, the rough design will be further developed. In 2020, the Eurasian Times reported that one of the goals was to produce an aircraft that follows fifth generation fighter design principles externally while being equipped with modern technology internally, similar to a sixth generation fighter. Given the time and challenges of developing advanced systems domestically, it was revealed that the AMCA will have two initial phases. The first phase, Mark 1, will rely on various foreign systems, while the later Mark 2 variant will feature more advanced internal systems and domestically produced technology. The basic outward appearance of the airframe will adhere to proven low radar cross-section design principles. Hindustan Aeronautics noted that their current twin tailplane design has a significant effect on reducing radar signature, along with other features such as an airframe composed of 30-40% to 40 composite radar absorbing material and internal weapons bays. During this stage, new refined air intakes were implemented. These new intakes, known as diverterless supersonic intakes, DSIs, with a serpentine oars-shaped inlet, reduce the visibility of the engine's fan blades from the front. This is important because fan blades can be prominently detected on radar. In some modern aircraft, such as the F-16, fan blades can be identified on radar and matched against an onboard database to determine the aircraft type, a process known as non-cooperative target recognition, 
used when identification friend or foe transponders fail. Within the airframe, efforts were made to save weight. A fly-by optic system was developed, replacing various sensor wiring with fiber optical cables. The radar is also reported to be somewhat new, a modified version of the domestically produced Otomasa radar. This series of domestically made radars is currently being tested on other Indian Air Force aircraft namely the HL Tejas, a Delta Wing fighter with plans to eventually adapt it to the HAL TEDBF, MiG-29, and Flanker. India's current ambition mirrors Turkey's. As discussed in the TFKN video, Turkey aims to reduce foreign reliance and move towards domestic self-sufficiency, particularly in military capabilities. In the short term, Turkey aims to develop several domestic aircraft, including trainers, attack and utility helicopters, and multi-role aircraft. Similar to Turkey's TFKAN fighter, India faces challenges in domestic engine production for the AMCA. In 2021, it was announced that a joint venture would be pursued to develop a semi-native engine. By 2023, it was revealed that this engine development would likely occur under a joint India-France partnership known as Horizon 2047. By 2023, after seven years of development, it was announced that the AMCA design phase had been completed. In 2024, the prototype development project received funding equivalent to USD $1.9 billion to produce five working prototypes of the current design iteration. This was confirmed by the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO with the expectation that the first prototype would be completed by 2027. And the first flight would take place roughly one year after the rollout. This timeline is slightly later than initially expected. In 2020, reports suggested that the first flight was planned for either 2024 or 2025. Currently, the Mark I variant of the aircraft will be powered by two General Electric F414 engines, producing 90 kilonewtons of thrust. In the future, the Mark II variant will see these engines replaced by a more powerful domestic or joint venture design, aiming to produce 110 kilonewtons of thrust. Now, if you like this video, check out this next video right here. <coughs> Mm-hmm.